Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, good vibrations. At your service to talk about another specification for antenna directivity. Antenna directivity, and in particular, this specification like the front-to-back ratio which I described in a previous video just earlier today. Uh, this particular specification is an indicator of antenna directivity for parasitic arrays such as the Yagi, the Quad, and the Quagi. Well, that's not how you spell it. Q-U-A-G-I. A hybrid between a quad and a yagi. And I'll bet you can imagine what that's like, but I'll help your imagination with a video not too long from now. In any case, what we're shown here is a eight-element yagi antenna, like you might find on 144, 220, or 432 megahertz, aimed towards the right, so the maximum radiation takes place towards the right the maximum response to signals coming in from the right now when you plot the directivity pattern of an antenna like this you may have seen some of these um, they're kind of like azimuth graphs azimuth meaning compass directions they look like a polar coordinate plane probably because that's exactly what a graph like this is, a polar coordinate plane. Suppose that you have your Yagi antenna right here. It's still aimed towards the right. So the main lobe of this antenna in a directivity pattern, polar plot, would look like that. There's oftentimes another much smaller lobe directly opposite that, and the front to back ratio is the ratio of the signal strength here to the signal strength there in terms of effective radiated power. In an antenna like the one I just showed you, an 8-element Yagi, you might see a 20 dB front-to-back ratio, meaning that the signal going out in the forward direction would be a hundred times more powerful than the signal going out in exactly opposite. And that's important. Front to back ratio means exactly that. Exactly the front and exactly the back. So you get a 180 degree angle between these two directions. This might be straight east, for example. That might be straight west. This might be straight north. That would then be straight south. Now, if you want to measure the front to side ratio f slash s you can do it by measuring the front the signal strength in the main lobe off the front and then the signal strength off the sides exactly off the side and that means exactly off either side like this so that this is a 90 degree angle and this also is a 90 degree angle. So in this example it looks like this antenna is pointed towards the east. So this side would be going towards the south, that side towards the north. And the front to side ratio in a Yagi or Quad or Quagi is comparable to the front to back ratio but it does vary somewhat because when you actually plot the directivity pattern of an antenna like this something very interesting happens you get the main lobe here and you get a, a lobe usually off the back but then you'll get sort of irregular irregular response like this irregular radiation and response off the sides in most cases, the left or counterclockwise 
front to side ratio equals the clockwise front to side ratio and you can probably guess what I mean by that in this case here the the counterclockwise side is towards the north and the clockwise side is towards the south measured with respect to the antenna's favored direction which in this case is east so if you have for example 10 decibels with respect to a dipole well with an eight element yagi well yeah you wouldn't probably wouldn't get quite that much you might get uh, oh you might get nine decibels with respect to a dipole of forward gain your front to side ratios might be on the order of 15 possibly even as much as 25 decibels now if it happened to be 20 db the same as the front to back ratio and it could be um, different antennas behave somewhat differently and these uh, the particulars of this little radiation pattern here depend upon the surroundings of the antenna if, if you place it near a bunch of obstructions like trees or in particular buildings with roofs that have metal flashing on them or metal siding on them other antennas motor vehicles water towers uh, all sorts of things like that uh, it will affect these particulars and it can also affect the forward gain of an antenna so ideally these measurements are taken in free space far far away from any obstructions and because the antenna looks symmetrical you should get the same front to side ratio for the counterclockwise direction or sense as you would for the clockwise sense so let's just say that's an idealized situation and we have that situation and let's say that ratio is 20 db interesting that means you get 100 times as much power in the forward direction as you would off either side so if you turn your antenna 90 degrees you're communicating with someone off directly to your east and you turn that antenna and point it north or south that signal will become 20 decibels weaker and your signal on their end will become 20 decibels weaker and it will be as if you had reduced your power uh, as far as they're concerned they would imagine that you might have reduced your power from 100 watts to only one watt or from 1500 watts to only 15 watts quite a difference and you can imagine about what 20 db is an s meter uh, on a typical radio receiver isn't calibrated very well but it'll give you a ballpark figure because these s meters are calibrated in decibels and each s unit usually on one of those things equals something like 6 db I think it's 5 or 6 db something like that so you'd get three or four s units of difference uh, if you turn your antenna 90 degrees like that and if the front to back ratio was also not, uh, 20 db the same thing would happen if you turned it all the way around but if you rotated the antenna around continuously the other person might hear your signal go up and down and up and down in intensity and very sort of irregularly according to the particulars of this so-called radiation pattern so that is what front to side ratio means it's another specification for antenna directivity and remember they don't mean approximately off the sides they mean exactly so that means 90 degrees counterclockwise or 90 degrees clockwise you have to specify some particular or you'll just end up with a meaningless and nebulous conceptual figure and not anything concrete so when you look at an antenna uh, if you're looking like for example to shop for a Yagi or a quad or a quaggy or build one and you're looking at the specifications always look at the front to back ratio the front to side ratio and the forward gain Stan Gibalisco W1 GV whiskey one good vibrations saying 73 and so long for now